Afternoon YouTube, welcome to my channel. It's your boy Leon. I'm Tim Kuru, the South African Geek. Um, like if you like the video, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. You know, we need to get them subs count up. I'm about to talk about a series of unfortunate events. Season 2, I really enjoyed season 1, so that's why I jumped into season 2 as soon as I got it. You know, I could let me put it that way. Um, I'm gonna just jump it off from the star of the show, Neil Patrick Harris. I mean, like Barney, I always liked him since Barney, even the Harold Kumar movies, everything he's done, even in Gone Girl, his death was something else. Like he's a remarkable actor and he carries the show for me personally, because I, cu I couldn't even get that song out of my head. And look away, look away. After watching it, like for a while, it took me really embedding myself into Lost in Space for me to get over that song. I mean, like, his performance is what amazing. It's, the funniest performances he did was when he was the gym coach, the guru gym coach and the detective. Those were memorable uh, characters. Um, let's go to the next character. Patrick, his commentary is nice. He over-exaggerates how like astonishing something will be they don't really make it as terrifying as he says he tells you to look away that's like the theme of the show look away if you can't take gore then you don't really see any gore you just gore gets described a lot of people die though a lot of people die uh let's talk about the the kids for a second the daughter the son the little girl Girl, for a season when I was convinced the little girl wasn't real, but I see they actually use a little uh, actual like like baby, but they make the baby do unbelievable stuff. Also, um, it it was amazing to see how they overcome a lot of things and how remarkably smart they were compared to the parents and all the people around them, especially that banker dude. That banker dude really needs to listen to these kids like he was so stupid like everybody who's older is so stupid in the show like i really enjoy the season but everybody who's older needs to like get a clue we also got an additional other family who was in that family secret organization those two two i was about to say twins but they were triplets i don't know how to describe them it's two of them left one of the triplets died let me say it like that. Uh, if you watch the season, you know what I'm talking about. Um, they they needed to be rescued once they were. I feel like they should also have a mission to save uh, the Bataneers. Oh, I forgot their names, but you know who they are. Um, they were a good addition to the new people. Also, uh, Neil Patrick Harris' character. I swear I knew his name. Count Olaf, yeah. His girlfriend, who's wealthy. I mean, his quest is for wealth, but I feel like he also likes burning things a lot. Like, so much. Crazy. Like, he's an arsonist for sure. I mean, like, he was separated from the organization to become an arsonist, which is crazy. We even got your boy Robbie Emil. Big fan of Rob since Tomorrow People wished it. That show didn't get cancelled to Flash, to everything else he's been in. All the amazing movies he, he Netflix he's in. So I was surprised he's in the Netflix original series. Now, he was also a great addition. Even though he basically sided with all of and all that stuff, he was still... He, his freakness was so... Something people would actually want, let me say that. And then we also got the librarian. Her death was crazy. They didn't show us the core, like I said, but her death was crazy. Let's be, let's be honest, her death was just something else. She basically got eaten by lions. Like, how did they, how did they not know it was Olaf at the end? Oh, he looked exactly himself. He even called himself Olaf, but not the dead one. And they, all the people are just convinced over what he said. Uh, like, there were just so many stupid moments with the older people that I just... It was just cringy. Like, listen to the kids. It's like Riverdale all over again. <laughs> like, Riverdale so driven by the kids. The 
kids basically raised the parents in that show. Um, I really enjoyed the season. I'm excited. Legit ends on a cliffhanger, like a guaranteed cliffhanger. And you know what I'm talking about if you watched it. Um, really enjoyed it. Uh, uh, like I said, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 also. I'm going to rewatch this show when the next season comes to refresh my mind. You know, to get more excited like I did with season 1 before I jumped into this. Anyway, um, like if you like the video, subscribe to my channel, the South African Geek Lu, and I'm to Kulu, and uh, I'm going to deliver more content for y'all. Share my thoughts and ideas and everything else, my reactions. We just go on and on and on and on and on and on. Deuces.